is Shaz from Kicks Magazine, and I'll be interviewing you today. <coughs> Introduce yourself to Kicks Magazine in three words. Mm. Naughty by nature. <coughs> okay. And as individuals, starting off with them. This is Uncle Vinny, a.k.a. Vim Rock, a.k.a. Kid Cabin. What's up? It's KG. Funani, Don, Dada. Okay, let's take it back from the beginning. How did Naughty by Nature begin? High school. We started off in high school. We started off in high school um, doing talent shows locally around our way. He stars in Jersey. Won the a, a hometown over, won a bunch of talent shows, and ran into Flavor Unit. And from there, we've been off and running. Okay. In the past, like, 20 years, like, the two decades that you've been in, like, what you've been, what you've been up to, like, non-musically, though? A bunch of different stuff. Uh, everything's been, you know, typically musically. You know, kind of, sort of, you know. Tragic, I'm in that you know, family. Yeah. You know, acting. But majority music and touring. Okay. Um, recently, you performed at Fenway Park. How did it feel? Ooh, great. that was great. We got with the big homie Donnie Wahlberg, and um, they were doing the New Kids on the Block Backstreet Boys tour. So Donnie felt it was important for us to be there at Fenway, yo, know, because we came out and supported them and, um, when New Kids did Radio City Music Hall in New York City. So we came out, Backstreet came out, and he ended up assembling a tour with New Kids and Backstreet. So he was like, yo, if it weren't for you guys, man, this thing wouldn't be possible. you got to come to Fenway. So we went there, man. That was like 43,000 people up in there. It's crazy. In terms of your recent track, Get to Know Me Better featuring Pitbull. How was it working with him? Oh, Pit was cool. Um, we initially um, hooked up with Pit in Australia. You know, we did a tour with him a few years ago. And, you know, he was still young and green in the game. And he watched our show. I remember him saying, yo, I'm telling y'all right now, I watched your show. I took notes. And there's certain things I'm going to incorporate into my show. I learned from you guys. So... It's just that we always kept a rapport with him and, and his DJ and producer. When it came time for that collaboration, we were like, Pitt would be a good guy to collaborate. What about the one with Joe, the, your recent track? Yeah, we just shot that music okay. video in Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay. When will it be releasing? Um, immediately. You know, the guys in there, crunch time. We had to shoot it before we came out here. So they're home, crunch time, getting it ready so it could be aired before the album drops November 15th. Tell us about your upcoming album, Anthem. Tell us a, tell us a bit about it. Anthem, Any, tell them, tell them. Yeah. It's going to be classic. It's going to be classic Naughty by Nature. The new album will be, like you mentioned, it's called Anthem Inc. It'll be in stores November 15th this year. And, you know, we got Queen Latifah on there with us. We got a classic record on there. We're featuring Queen Latifah. Like you mentioned, the first single featuring Joe is on it, Perfect Party, that's out now, and the video's coming soon. And we also did um, six of our classics on there. We re-recorded OPP, Hip Hop Array, as well as a few other classics on the album as well. So it'll be um, six classics, and we got 12 original joints on there. Okay. Yeah. How has rap changed for, the, for you guys in the past 20 years? Mm -hmm. Well, it's been just constantly evolving. You know, hip hop started in New York City, then it expanded. You know, the West Coast had their run with it. The Midwest touched it up a bit. And now, you know, the past maybe 10 years, it's been heavy in the South, you know. So the sounds, the, the, the artists, the lyrical content, and, and the style has definitely changed. So, you know, this younger generation is keeping hip hop alive. And we always say, if you don't like what's going on in hip hop, go in the lab and come up with something that could compete or change the game. How was your relationship with Tupac when you, uh, in the film Juice? Oh, it was crazy, man. It was a couple of scenes we had. A, it seemed like we. I, I know some some had to be cut because we was laughing and joking, and it's like you in there playing like you roughing up your boy. You know what I mean? You know he's it's cut, but it's like it was just fun it was an experience it was learning it was like i got bit by the bug as soon as i did it just to work in there and see him having that much talent 
it just made me want to sharpen my acting game up and, and pursue it more, definitely. How did doing staff, um, like, feel on it? I mean, it was definitely crushing. Any anybody you got love for, and 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 come up with, and you know they get cut short. It's like it's just like a void. Not just with you, but knowing like he had so much more that he wanted to do besides the music and the movies, and just really didn't have a chance to really sprout and and really go the way he was gonna go. You know, so you know it's, it's definitely was crushing. In terms to Vinny, what's your special role with Naughty by Nature? Just going off record. I'm the hired lover. <laughs> That's what they hire me for. <laughs> no, but with Naughty by Nature, I'm more of um, the marketing and the merchandising guy. I run the, uh, you know, the merch and the viral presence, all of that stuff. The website, uh, YouTube.com channel, all of that stuff. So Naughty by Nature came out with a different type of sound. You came out. With well, you friends. know, you got individuals within all of it. I don't think that's being the fact that we're from Jersey. I think that's us individually, as a group, you know, doing our own thing. You know, but we could have been from New York and still did the same thing. But just primarily as a whole, you know, New York, New Jersey, primarily, it's on the same vibe. Because like I said, we're so close to each other. It was it was basically the era we was in yeah. that made the, everyone Play. sound that came out in the 90s, everyone's sound was different. And in the 90s, you had to sound different. You had to, or labels wouldn't pick you up, radio wouldn't play you up. Songs didn't, everybody had their own swagger, their own sound, their own style. So it was like, it was just a whole different music genre at that time. Give kicks an exclusive on any tracks that we expect to see sometime soon. Yeah, definitely, definitely. We got a, we got a lot of like front runners. And lead us. We got um, the feat. The song with Queen Latifah is definitely a front runner for a single. We have other records as well that's on there. That is really, really good records that can be singles, potential singles. You know, we didn't put an album full of records together. None of them can potentially be singles. We that would be a waste of time. But, one one you know, thing we like to do is have our albums drop and let the fans yeah. basically decide. You know what I mean? Through listening to it, from going to our shows, we always hear now, you know, like online and through the different sites and stuff, we could hear their response. My favorite song is, my favorite song is, and we probably do some type of uh, uh, poll, poll and see. And then radio what's too. The, also yeah. radio. Radio like, and, and the like, You let radio, you know, decide. You know, radios a lot of times, you know, they'll take your album. And they'll take a track and just start playing it, and then it'll almost force the record label, force you to follow with them. You know, so like he said, you know, it's up to the fans. You give the fans a chance, you give the consumer a chance, as well as radio and the tastemakers a chance to pick something off there. But we're not going to get too far ahead of ourselves. Right now, the, let it be clear, the current single is Perfect Party featuring Joe. And it's definitely another future classic. It's definitely one of those summertime, even wintertime bangers. It's a club banger, and, and make sure you pay attention to it. Make sure you go to iTunes and pick it up, and, and just peep it online, man. Go to YouTube.com slash Naughty by Nature. You'll see it. As, uh, as individuals, do you have any extra abilities that you bring to the group? Extra abilities? I'm the incredible Tretch. <laughs> I could leave hip-hop in a single bound take out whack MCs on every corner. So that's my forte. Okay. <laughs> I look good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me, my, my super ability outside of Naughty is my incredible smile. <laughs> I call this the Joker face. <laughs> Guys have been in it for so long. So where do you think hip hop is going right now? It's going to hell. <laughs> Quick, nah. Hip hop is it's it's so crazy because ever since we came out, even before we came out, but I'm saying just growing up off of hip hop, it's always been like, oh this is a fad. Oh this gonna come and go. Oh this not gonna last. So just to see the generations before us 
during our era after us and it's still going strong and it's still selling millions of records and it's all over the world and we can have the ability to travel all over the world because it's a hip hop audience in every corner of the planet. It's like, it's out of there. Hip hop is not going anywhere. It's, it's, it's definitely going to keep expanding, growing. And our kids' kids are going to be, there's going to be hip hop music, rap music out there. It's, it's one music form you just can't shove under the rug and be like, okay, that played out. It's, to, in my eyes, I don't think it's, a, it's ever going to play out. Never. How do you get your kicks? My kicks? Yeah. With my left and right foot. <laughs> no, I mean, hip hop, movies, traveling, seeing the fans, seeing people smile, having fun, performing, the energy. It's like all of that just just brings in, you know, the the keep going mentality and the keep going energy. Oh, in the studio. In the studio. When first it starts in the studio with me. Just love being in the studio. Love working on, you know, beats, just listening to records all day, exploring, finding new samples, and then taking it to the stage and performing. I mean performing. That's just the ultimate high. Okay. Then how do you get your kicks? Hot, steamy, wild sex. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have another version, please? Let me come back on YouTube. Nope, that's going to be it. Okay. Down with OPP. <laughs> <laughs> okay.